little glass of vino. Maybe a little glass. Ooh, do we have a little glass of bubbly over here? All right, this is such a cool item from here from us here at Cook's Essentials. This is a really Oh, I made a joke I didn't even know it when I said it's a really cool one because it's a wine bottle chiller. Oh. I'm embarrassed for myself. All right, so this is K51086. This is the first day that this has been presented. Um, this is a clearance price again, no reorder. This comes home for $68.28 or $13.66 on your easy pay. This is the ultimate gift. So I, maybe you're not a big wine drinker, but maybe you know someone who's a wine enthusiast and nothing is more intimidating than being like, oh, I'm gonna pick out a really nice bottle of wine for so-and-so. And you go to the wine store and you look at that wall of wine and you're like, uh, <laughs> what do I do? What's good, what's bad? Um, get them a wine gadget like this. This is a wine chiller because when you grab that bottle of white and you don't have a wine fridge, you don't have room in your fridge, but you wanna get that fast chill going on so you can enjoy it with your dinner, this is what you need. Um, 1366 on your easy pay, you have two different colors. You have it in either black, which is super sleek, or you have it in the red as well. Um, so chef, take me through what this does and how it does it. Okay, we're talking about 750s. If you got a 750 bottle, if it's three inches in circumference at the bottom, it will fit in here. I love the fact that this is two button operated. You don't have to worry about a lot of functions going on here. You have your on off, and you have your setting. We go from 43 to 73. That means you're gonna go as low as 43 to as warm as 73, depending on the type of wines you wanna chill or hold. Now, when this thing is blinking, that lets you know that your wine is at temperature. So you're good to go once this is at temperature. When you do get this, you will have an option to have Celsius or Fahrenheit. Now we have this cord in the back and I'm just gonna unplug this. So when I take this and plug this back in, this allows you to hold both of these buttons down here. Okay. Like this. And you can change whether you want Celsius or Fahrenheit oh. with using that setting buddy, which is pretty cool. And then once you pick what you want, you go ahead and stop that, start it back again, and you're good to go. All you have to do is go ahead and search for the temperature you want, go up or go down, depending on your reds, depending on your white, your bubbly, or your sparkling wine. So just so you know, your white wines are best when they're chilled to about 45 to 48 degrees. That's when they're best to be served. Mm. I'm the wine guy right here. <laughs> and your red should have a little chill on them as well. So this isn't just for your bubbles. This isn't just for your white. This is to get that nice little chill on your reds, get it down to about 55 to 60 degrees and it's perfect drinking temperature right there. I'm oh, glad you it. told me that. I always wanted to know that. And I know that as a chef, you should know that. <laughs> but like I mentioned to you, I'm a tequila drinker, but I'm gonna learn how to drink wine real fast. But I also wanna know, how do I keep this from happening? And that's how this happens. When you put it in the Cooks Essentials wine chiller, you don't have to worry about having wet bottles, roaring the label, yep. having it drip everywhere. I literally would take this and put this on my nightstand because it fits so perfectly. If you're a big time wine drinker and you wanna have something, we set two of these up in my house. We have one set up with white, one set up with red, and then we put bottles around it because once you take this bottle out, you could drop in another one and it'll bring that bottle up to temperature. So you don't have to reset it. It'll automatically read the room temperature and go right to where you want it to be. So if this is gonna be primarily for reds, then you know you have your red wines around here. It will be set at the red temperature. Oh. As it's an empty bottle, you drop another one in this canister. It gets rammed, rammed, rammed up and we're good to go. About how long does it take, Chef, to chill a bottle of, of white wine, I would say, from room temperature? So we're talking about 30 minutes to really get you to where you want to be. Okay. So, and, and honestly, when you take this bottle out, you can actually feel how cold this really gets, and it gets really cold. So the bottom half is going to be really ice cold, so what I like to do is just do a little mm. tip just like that. And that'll oh, allow that cold and that medium cold to sort of balance and mix. And then you're good to go, set this on the table open, <clears throat> drop another one in, and there's not no time at all before you have another cold bottle of wine. So now you don't have to worry about, oh, can you pick up a, some, an extra bag of ice for the wine bucket? Oh, that wine bucket is dripping everywhere, all that condensation, let me grab a towel so I can go ahead and clean that up. Oh, the label came off, sorry, did you wanna save that bottle? Did it have sentimental value? Sorry, the, the, the label just came off. Um, so that takes all that guesswork, plus it looks super cool and sleek on your countertop, and you look like you know what you're talking about when it comes to, to your wine. Now we have it in the black,
which has been popular in this show. And we also have it in the white, which is a little bit more limited though. It's $68 and change on uh, for their price, but $13.66 on those five easy pays, which don't forget, do go away at the end of the day. It's over $21 off of the normal price and no reorder when it's gone. It is gone for good. <laughs> All right, you can check out